హాయ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ మై ఛానల్ నేమ్ ఈజ్ కెమిస్ట్రీ కోచింగ్ ఫర్ ఎంసెట్ ఎంఎస్సి సిఎస్ఏఆర్ యూజీసీ నెట్ ప్లీజ్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ మై ఛానల్ అండ్ హిట్ ద బెల్ ఐకాన్ అండ్ గివ్ మీ ఏ లైక్ హియర్ ఐఎమ్ ప్రొవైడింగ్ వీడియోస్ ఫర్ ఇంటర్మీడియట్ స్టూడెంట్స్ బిఎస్సి స్టూడెంట్స్ ఎంఎస్సి స్టూడెంట్స్ పిహెచ్డి స్టూడెంట్ in this video i am discussing about pericyclic reaction particularly about cyclo addition reactions this video is very helpful to msc students let's get into the video so today i am going to discuss about pericyclic reactions it particularly about cyclo addition reactions so cycling in cyclo addition reactions what will happen a unsaturation molecule is combined com- combined with another unsaturation molecule give a adduct so one unsaturated molecule and another unsaturated molecule will combine and give a adduct and additionally a two two sigma bonds are formed for, for the consumption of two pi bonds two sigma bonds are formed this is called cyclo addition reaction so, cyclo addition means a combination of two or two or more some more independent pi and saturations without loss of group or atom called cyclo addition reaction so reverse process of this reaction is called reto reaction so new sigma bond must be developed at the termini of pi and saturation two or two or more more than two new sigma bonds will be developed so number of uh, sigma bonds is developed is equal to pi bonds consume so intramolecular react intramolecular intramolecular cyclo addition so if you come to here 2 pi plus 2 pi cyclo addition so first you, if you take ethylene molecule so ethylene molecule is combining with another ethylene molecule so here one sigma bond is generated here one sigma bond is generated here another sigma bond is generated here so here two pi bonds are consumed ethylene having one pi bond another ethylene having one pi bond so two pi bonds consumed and you are getting a cyclobutane product so two new sigma bonds are generated so if you come to example 2 it is 4 pi plus 2 pi cyclo addition if you take 13 beta diene and ethylene at the termini of the 13 beta diene and at the termini of ethylene there the new sigma bond is forming here you see here this is the new sigma bond generated and on the other side one the one sigma bond is generated the pi bond is just migrated in 13 beta diene so at the termini there is a new formation of new sigma bond is taking place this is called cyclo addition reactions so if you come to cyclo addition reactions cyclo additions are classified into the following types so first one is supra supra facial cyclo additions so the second one is supra antara facial cyclo additions third one is antara supra facial cyclo additions fourth one is antara antara facial cyclo additions so first what we what is uh, supra facial cyclo addition we will go to the definition so in the course of cyclo addition what will happen is uh, the pi partner develops a new sigma bond at a termini at one face or same side is called supra facial cyclo addition suppose for if you termini you are taking ethylene so you, ethylene you ethylene from uh, both uh, both sigma bonds are forming from same side it is called uh, supra facial so for the formation of uh, sigma bond uh, you one side one termini using one face another termini using uh, opposite face so suppose for, for the one side using reface another another termini using si face so it is called uh um, antara facial cyclo addition so it is a definition of antara in the course of cyclo addition independent partner develops two new sigma bonds at termini opposite faces one termini sigma bond formation at top face and another termini sigma bond formation bottom face are called antara facial cyclo additions so this is the difference between supra and antara so here i am explaining the difference is what is a supra supra so you observe supra supra addition. this is supra supra cyclo addition so here ethylene molecule is having ethylene molecule having two terminus both termini they are using they are using same face so this is supra another ethylene molecules also having ethylene molecule both termini it is left side termini and right side termini both sides are using same face cover that's why we are calling this is supra supra so if we come to supra antara 
you see here ethylene both terminate are using one phase and in andara case they are they are using one left side top phase and right side bottom phase so that's why this is calling supra andara cycloaddition so if you come to andara supra cycloaddition you see here left side there is using bottom phase bottom phase right side using top phase so that's why this is andara partner and uh, another side uh, both uh, another termine another ethylene molecule is using both uh, both termine same phase so this is supra bottom so that's why you are calling is andara supra cycloaddition so if you come to andara andara so one side uh, one side they are using uh, bottom phase another side is using top phase so this is andara partner another side they are using top phase one side and bottom phase another side this is andara partner so this why therefore we are calling this is andara andara cycloaddition so the same thing we will explaining using lobes so if you take uh, supra supra cycloaddition so we see here uh, see in uh, ethylene molecule first we are using white lobe left side left side and right side also we are using white lobe so th this is called supra partner we will come to another another compound we are using left side uh, white lobe um, bottom side same phase and other side also uh, white lobe and the uh, and the thing is the two lobes are the same side so this is also supra partner that is that's why we are calling it as supra supra cycloaddition so we will come to supra and ara so uh, you see here left side uh, bottom phase bottom side white lobe is there right side bottom side uh, white lobe is there so this is supra partner so for uh, andara partner what will happen is the top phase uh, white lobe is there left side right side is bottom phase so one one top phase one bottom phase therefore this is andara partner so that's why we are calling as supra andara cycloaddition so then coming to third we are using left side white lobe but this is bottom side and right side uh, black black lobe is the top phase so that's why this is andara partner so another thing uh, second one ethylene molecule is we are using white lobes both are from top phase so this is supra partner Th therefore we are calling is a supra andara cycloaddition andara supra cycloaddition so then we will come to uh, next one this is uh, we are using one lobe from top phase white lobe another uh, um, black lobe is from top phase one is bottom phase so this is andara partner so another one is uh, top phase white lobe we are using another bottom black lobe from bottom phase this is also andara partner that's why we are calling it is uh, andara andara cycloaddition so in what will happen in say uh, supra supra cycloaddition both partners retains stereochemistry in resulting products where we come to and supra andara or andara supra supra partner retains stereochemistry andara partner opposes the stereochemistry at one term this is very important in andara supra or supra andara cyclizations just abo uh, andara partner opposes stereochemistry at one term in andara andara both partners opposes the stereochemistry at one term this is very important but we are discussing only here supra supra here why because all these order reactions are supra supra cycle addition so we are discussing about a supra supra if you take a, a, a <coughs> two butene cis two butene so what is happening here? you are getting two products these two products are diastereomers so you see here the stereochemistry is retained the ethylene stereochemistry two butene stereochemistry retained in the product Why? Because we are uh, subjecting to supra supra cycloadditions. So next we will come to Diels-Alder reaction. Now what is a Diels-Alder reaction? Diels-Alder reaction is a four plus two cycloaddition. Like two plus two two plus cycloaddition is a uh, uh, cycloaddition reaction. Like four plus two cycloaddition reaction is a Diels-Alder reaction. So the Diels-Alder reaction is uh, taking place between a conjugated diene and a dienophile. so what are the conditions required for the diels alder reaction so if you come to diels alder reaction first you will take diene in generally what will happen the electron donating groups on diene and electron withdrawing groups on dienophile increases the reactivity of diels alder reaction so electron donating groups on diene electron withdrawing groups on dienophile so for the diene we are discussing here a diene what will happen in diene if you take one three butyl diene there are two for possible conformations s trans conformation s cis conformation but the reaction is going through s trans s cis conformation so here room temperature s trans uh, one three butyl diene is converted into s cis one three butyl diene the reaction is taking place 
So when the cyclic dye is the dye, the dye in group is locked in SCC conformation. The reactions are uh, the reaction goes very well. Where the uh, the dye is locked in S trans conformation, the reaction is not possible at all. Why? Because <coughs> in the for the reaction there is SCC conformation required. SCC conformation is not possible with these dyes. So therefore, reaction is not not taking place. Okay. Then we will come to dynophile. Dynophiles will act on withdrawing groups on dynophile increases the reactivity of this order reaction. So here the, the cyano group and the carbonyl group are electron withdrawing groups. These electron withdrawing groups increases the reactivity of <coughs> dynophile. So when we'll come to stereochemistry of the elect, stereochemistry of the elect, so stereochemistry of dyno, dynophile. So what will happen if you take a deal or a subject in deal or a reaction? If you taking cis dyne, so, 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 so cis ethylene, cis ethylene uh, subjected to deal or a reaction, what will happen is in the product the uh, cis stereochemistry is retained. Why? Because the here the rule is if you take cis compound, the cis stereochemistry retained in the product. If you take trans compound. Uh, that trans stereochemistry is retained in the product and on the adduct. So if you take cis compound here, uh, you are getting cis compound here also. So this is the thumb rule in the Dilsada reaction. So we will come to uh, stereochemistry of the adduct uh, due to stereochemistry in the dye in. So first we have to classify the dye in into in the following way. So these hydrogens, what we are doing is these hydrogens we are cl classifying as outsider groups. This hydrogen, this hydrogen, terminal hydrogens. Our terminal groups we are classifying as internal groups RR we are classifying inside group of the diene. So if you subjected a deal order reaction according to the transition state, <laughs> outsider the outsider groups like hydrogens here, outsider groups will appear in the below the plane in the six-membered ring. So where the inside groups are appearing above the plane in the six-membered ring. So this is the thumb rule for the diene compound. So here I am providing examples. So first you are taking this compound. Here hydrogen and hydrogens are uh, outsider groups. So outsider groups are subjected to deal order reaction. These outsider groups are below the plane, hydrogen and hydrogen. And uh, according to our classification, R are inside groups. Inside groups are above the plane in the in the molecule in the adduct. So if you come to example number two, here phenyl phenyls are outsider groups. You take phenyl PH and BH are outsider groups. So PH BHs are outsider groups. Therefore PH is coming below the plane. PH is coming below the plane. Here here also here also pH is coming below the plane and hydrogens hydrogens are above why because hydrogens are inner groups they are coming above the plane so if we come into example 3 so here hydrogen R groups are outside of groups so, so hydrogen is below the plane R is the below the plane and R hydrogen is the uh, R is the inner group so R and hydrogens are coming above the plane this is the logic in the doing the stereochemistry of adduct next orientation of the effects in the Dilsada reaction. So what will happen is first case number one if you take electron donating group present in the middle carbon. So electronic donating carbon 1,4 product is formed. 1,4 product means just we can call as a para. 1,4 product is formed. 1,3 product is not forming. So here uh, the imaginary flow of electrons we are showing. So what will happen is methoxy is acting electronic donating group. Electronic donating group. The electron shift flow, flow of electrons will in the in the direction. So in the reverse polarization, the 1,4 product is the major product because of this imaginary flow of electrons we can call it as push pull electron me mechanism push pull mechanism push and pull so this is pushing and this is pulling push pull mechanism so if you come come to case 2 uh, here what will happen is here the dying the electron donating group and the first carbon or terminal carbon so the electron the reaction is taking place now one two product is formed as a major product one three product is not formed here also we can exp explain using push pull mechanism so uh, methoxy donate the electron group electrons so electron donating in the iron to the beta carbon in the same reverse polarization the action is taking place you are getting one two product as the major product so we can explain this as a push pull mechanism uh, because och3 is actually uh, pushing the electrons uh, the carbonyl dynophile is pulling the electrons so if you come to intramolecular deals, deals order reactions 
இந்த டைனான டைனோஃபைல் இந்த பார்ட் ஆஃப் த சேம் மாலிக்கியூல் இந்த டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் டின்சாடர் ரியாக்ஷன்ஸ் ஆர் இன்ட்ராமாலிகுலர் சைக்கிள் இன்ட்ராமாலிகுலர் டின்சாடர் ரியாக்ஷன்ஸ் ஸோ இன்ட்ராமாலிகுலர் டின்சாடர் ரியாக்ஷன் த ஸ்டீரியோ கெமிஸ்ட்ரி ஆஃப் ஃபியூச்சர் திங்ஸ் டிபெண்ட்ஸ் ஆன் த சப்ஸ்டியூஷன் ஆன் த டைனோஃபைல் So here you take an you know, electron withdrawing group is not present on the dynofile. I mean there is no electron withdrawing group. So no electron withdrawing group means. So here uh, the observed stereochemistry is ring junction is trans. Why? Right? Because this is our, these are the empirical rules just. We are you know what we are doing. We are observing the structure. We are following the empirical rules. Always there is no need, of, no need to follow the, these empirical rules. But these are the empirical rules. General observations. We can call general observations. So if you come to case number 2. When the dynofinal part has an electron withdrawing group. Which is present in the inner side of the dynofile. The inner carbon of the dynofile. This is inner carbon of the dynofile. So inner carbon electron withdrawing group is present. Then the ring junction is cis. So the, the ring junction is when the inner carbon ring junction is cis. Uh, this is the uh, where is the case of electron withdrawing group present in the inner side of the dynafile so when come to electron withdrawing group present at the terminal carbon and the electron withdrawing group and the terminal carbon and the geometry of the dynafile is cis the geometry of dynafile is cis when the geometry of dynafile is cis what will happen is the cooch3 group here so i am showing here cooch3 group is below the plane and the cooch3 hydrogens are trans here cooch3 and hydrogens are trans here two products are formed so this is the one empirical rule you have to memorize it if you if you get any same problem you have to write according to it. so if you are when the electron withdrawing group is uh, present at the termine of the carbon uh, electron withdrawing group at the termine carbon and uh, the geometry is trans the geometry is a trans what will happen is the cooch3 is below the plane and the thing is this cooch3 and hydrogen are here cc to each other and two products are forming this is you have to memorize it so cooch3 and hydrogen are cis and two products are formed here also two products are forming okay then the selection rules for cycloaddition reactions like from fmoh approach for n ply electrocyclation for n ply means 2 plus 2 plus cycloaddition sir photochemically allowed so, so in general all these sort of reactions are supra supra so the suppose supra supra dil sort of reaction for n plus cycloaddition or 2 by 2 by cycloaddition is photochemically allowed in the case of dil sort of reaction is for n plus 2 by electrocyclation for so, sorry for n plus 2 by cycloaddition so this is uh, thermally allowed so we have to memorize dil sort of reaction is thermally allowed so in the case supra supra so allowed chemistry but in the case of just 2 by 2 by cyclation is photochemically allowed so finally thank you so here i am sharing sharing the valuable books in the description so please click on the link and if you want to purchase any books please click on the link and if you have any doubts and comments please give a comment in the video finally thank you